Hi everyone, my name is Doran Kutcher, interviewing some of the top contenders for the near Hack the Rainbow Hackathon. To kick things off, I'm going to have my interviewees uh, introduce, introduce themselves, introduce their team name. Let me just say, hi, I'm Michael Hansen from Plantry, and... I'm Lenara. Like, what features of Nier, like, drew you to their platform? I'm, cu I'm kind of curious about that. I think, actually, the main feature is the low transaction fees. Mm -hmm. Because that was a real problem on Ethereum, and a lot of projects connected to art and also games uh, pretty much had to stop or, or really go very slowly, almost grinding to a halt uh, because of transaction fees really skyrocketing. Mm. So I think that that's the main draw, but then it's not the only one. There are also many other features on Nier that are really cool. The low transaction fees of Nier is like what mostly drew you to their platform. Yeah, I remember a, lot of, a time on Ethereum when it was really, really cheap to do a transaction. Mm. Uh, so people really experimenting a lot, just doing things for fun and not really thinking, okay, I'm going to pay this because I'm going to get a return on my investment, some DeFi application. It was really about fun and collaboration and art and those values I really care about. And the high fees put a, like a grind to that. So people really started looking for alternatives where they could do the same fun things again by having low transaction fees. Wow, that's so cool. So it's, it almost seems like anybody can like kind of jump in on this like project, like anybody like um, making their own art, they can just upload it and like make their own digital copy of it. Is that my understanding? You know, there exist uh, already some really nice apps for people who want to do uh, what they call the minting of digital art. Artists need to be able to do things on the cheap in order to do things well and freely. Mm -hmm. This has been a thing that artists have been fighting, not just on the blockchain, but in real estate and in the cost of education and in every other thing in my lifetime. So, you know, it's really, you kind of have to insist upon, uh, you know, finding the cheap ways of doing things. I'm curious, like what, um, what like actions can like incur the most cost? How do the fees like occur the most, I guess, like on Ethereum or on any platform, I guess? For example, some platforms allow you to deploy your own contract. They have kind of a template contract. So you create your own NFTs with your contract. And recently to deploy your contract using this platform, that used to cost two bucks. That's what Michael was saying. And now it costs 200. Oh my gosh. Really? Oh, oh. Wow. Yeah. I, I think it's a good transition into um, like your actual project. So if you want to go to like the name of your project and then um, yeah, problem that your project aims to solve and then maybe a walkthrough of the application after that. Mm -hmm. I want to state that we are not solving any problems. Okay. No. We're just creating a fun, like a, a tool, like for having, you know, fun and, and have art and, and, and games. And I don't think that's a problem mm -hmm. that people, you know, need more things to have fun. You all need <laughs> things to have fun, but that's not a problem. So we're not solving any problems. <laughs> we could say something very deep and meaningful here about the problems that art solves for people in the world generally. Yeah, <laughs> I love playing games. Like I, everyone oh, needs, cool. you know, everyone yeah, needs I mean, games and, and things like that. So. Especially like, in a world where maybe we're all trapped in our homes. Just yeah, just yeah, this is perfect timing. This is what people could use, honestly. Honestly, yeah. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. So I think at a deeper level, Michael, you're right. Like art, you know, brings all these things and, and, and solutions for problems. But uh, uh, it's not like we're focusing on like one like application or something, you know, that, oh, people really need this and then we're doing it. Uh, it's it's just when like, people say art, oh, it's not that important. It, it no, riles me up is, a little bit. Art is of utmost importance, mm -hmm. basically. But we're not like, you know, we are creating one more way for people to express themselves artistically. Yeah, I think I think that is a perfectly like reasonable like um, endeavor to to take on like giving we are, people. We are expanding the ways in which people can express themselves artistically, uh, connect to each other, have fun together, create things, and we're expanding this. Uh, they have other ways of doing it. We're adding one more that we hope they will enjoy and have lots of fun, and and it'll be fulfilling for them. Beautiful. No, I love that. And so with that I say we jump right into the demo of your project. So this is Plantary. 
and it allows you to grow and harvest NFTs. So you can mint plant NFTs and then you can harvest NFTs from the plants that you mint and it's written on near. The first thing that you should do is to um, connect your wallet. So here it is. I'm just going to allow this contract to have access to my wallet. So now I'm connected and I can start uh, minting a plant. And there are several different types of plants you can choose to mint. Uh, and we plan to expand this time types of plants. One of the plants that you can mint is called the Oracle plant. Oh. And I pay a fee of 10 test near right now. That's what we have to mint an Oracle plant. So what happened is it will ask, ask my wallet if that's okay to spend 10 test near. So I say that's okay. It will transfer the test near. And then in my plantry, I will be able to see my plants. So I actually have more than one plant because I have been using this account already to mint a few plants. I even have a repeated plant here. Uh, and that is actually an Oracle plant. Oh, and wow. each plant is an artwork. Wow. You can ask something if you want. So you create the art for these like um for these like different plants on 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 this application. Yeah, each plant is created by an artist. So here you have the artist name, Thirsty, mm -hmm. is the artist who created this plant. Uh, and they kind of have this funny for now Latin names of plants. Uh, and also descriptions about what they are and they have an image that goes together with the plant. So if you collect plant NFTs, you are collecting art, basically. Mm. So this website and this application is essentially for like artists posting their plants and then being able to like buy and like keep and collect these plants online. Are you able to like trade and sell them too? Or? Yeah, so you can just use it as like an art collecting tool. But the next step is to harvest the plant. Oh. So oh, okay. here I can harvest the plant. And the idea is that the harvest will be much cheaper than the plant. Uh, and then the harvest will not, most of them will not be manually created by one artist, but they will be generated by an AI. What does it mean to harvest a plant in, um, in this regard? You are minting another NFT, basically. And the Oracle plant has a very specific type of harvest. So here is like actually an Oracle reading. Uh, oh. I have two of the same because I was using this before. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so this is like a, a little um, reading I got. Actually, so an Oracle plant is like what exactly? What does the Oracle plant do? What does it mean? Is the name of the type of plant and it allows you to harvest fortunes. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> wait, okay, wait. So these so do these like different plants um do you like allow you to harvest different types of things? Like what would you call yeah the, so the, these, the produce? Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> mint a portrait plant. Okay. So the portrait plant uh will allow you to harvest portraits. Whoa, that's awesome. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so let's see, where is my portrait plant? So this is my portrait plant. Ooh. And wow. it is an artwork by itself. It was created by the artist Ilan Katin. And I can now harvest portraits from the plant. Wow, I like that one. Wow, okay, and where is this like, where is the, where are the near tokens going? Are they going to the artist every time you harvest something? Well, yes, the idea is that uh, here's the portrait. Uh, oh, got. neat. Oh, I love uh, that. Uh, oh, that is cool. <laughs> but the idea is that the artist will get most of the money that uh, was paid to, to mint the plant. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of the money will go to the project and to, you know, different things. And also, we want if the portrait plant gets resold in the secondary market, then the artist will get a royalty from that. 
Oh, that'd be great. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Wait, so that like- is the magic there. That is one <laughs> of the things that NFTs are making really excellent for artists is the ability to have those smart contracts give you secondary market royalties. Wow. Yeah, this is actually, I mean, this is, I mean, I think this is a beautiful, like this is a definitely beautiful project that allows like, like the artists themselves to get like continual revenue from the art they create. It's beautiful. Yes. I'm sorry, could you explain one more time like where the, um, where are these like harvested plants come from? Are they also from the artist or are they randomly, you said they're made by some AI, but I didn't understand that yes. part. So these, I mean, I guess you can tell they are made by an AI. I don't know. Wait, these are uh, like, is the art being created by an AI? Like it's not, these aren't, these aren't like hand drawn. These aren't like painted, but it's actually being generated randomly. Yes. So the, the AI kind of goes through some, you know, uh, starting material. So that might be like actual drawings or photographs or all kinds of things. Uh, and then we'll rearrange them into something that resembles like a portrait. And we're thinking about having other kind of AI generated arts. We can also have like nature, uh, you know, paintings. You can have landscapes. You can have, I don't know, psychedelic art. Uh, oh. You can have all kinds of AI generated art. Oh, wow. That's so cool. How did you... Yeah, how did you do that? <laughs> it's my most elegant way of asking that question. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious, like, actually, what, what service did you use, actually? Or unless you don't want to reveal your secrets, that's totally fine. No, I mean, it's totally <laughs> fine. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> we don't know exactly the final ones that we're going to use because there are several of these, uh, you know, AI tools. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to play a little bit and see which ones make more sense. But these specific portraits were done by this tool called Playform. Playform, oh, that's yeah. so that's yeah. so cool. So this has me excited. Like, what, what other plants are there, and like, what, what, okay. where the harvest can you get? <laughs> so, for example, we have right now working on the demo. We have uh, three types of plants. So the oracle plant we tried already. There is a money plant, um, but the money plant you cannot harvest mm -hmm. because uh, yeah. money is fungible, and we are talking about non fungible tokens. So you can't, unfortunately, harvest the money plant. Uh, but then we want to have a complement plant. Oh, cool. Yeah, so then it, you could harvest complements. Uh, and of course, you know, if you have a complement plant, you also need <laughs> 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 Yes. Oh, it's so and then cool. if you want, you can trade, you know, insults for compliments. Maybe your insult is really nice, you know, and want to trade it for a compliment. Uh, we have so many ideas. The seed plant actually will allow you to create other plants. Uh, pretty much every time we talk about the plants, people come up with new ideas for plants. Yeah, forgive the pun, but like the digital, this like digital plant app can like really grow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what were like some of the um like like main challenges that you came across with developing this application well i really it makes me want to just kind of gush a little bit about how easy near makes developing this application honestly obviously there's a big sort of set of blockchain concepts that you have to come up to speed on as a as a software developer but uh i don't know near has a really good examples well documented and a whole kit for just building a, a client chain app you know they give you all the framework and scaffolding and mm -hmm. just plug in your need what you need i think um it was the hackathon so we didn't have much time so there was that time constraint but i've really just been happy with how easy it's been to to build this stuff i did have to learn a new language did you, so did you learned Rust in the process of making this application during the hackathon? Yeah, I mean, oh. I, I kind of feel like as a software developer, you have to be willing to pick up whatever language is there in a mm -hmm. hurry. And you have to be willing to live with your mistakes and recognize that you're probably doing something wrong a lot of the time, mm -hmm. but, uh, Rust is not that weird to somebody who's used Java or C or C++. Uh, it's in that family of languages. It's strongly typed, but um, I don't know. I just, the more languages you learn to code with, the more 
uh, you see the similarities and differences and the easier they are to pick so, up. Yeah, thank you guys for showing us the application. Uh, would you guys, so are you guys going to continue developing the application? Um, and if so, like, what does that look like? Definitely going to continue. Um, it's going to eventually be launched on the near main net. Mm -hmm. The example that you see right now is on the test net. So you can go ahead and play with it, but these are test NFTs. They could disappear at any time. Mm -hmm. um, we're really hoping to bring all of the ideas that we're getting from artists and, and more ideas from artists uh, together so that when we launch, there will be a really rich ecosystem of plants and harvests that we can play with and explore. Yeah, we really want to get the artists not only to contribute with images, uh, with artworks, but also with ideas for what the plants can do, what can you harvest from them, what can you do with the harvest. So we really want the creativity to flow into the project and, and this is going to be like an art first project. So we really want the art to be in the forefront and the artist to be really involved. It sounds like you want the community involved. Is there a way the community can currently um, find your application? Yeah, we just decided we're going to open a Discord today <laughs> and we're going to give you the link so people can start uh, joining and talking to us through that channel. So it's going to be brand new just for this podcast. Sweet. Great. Yes. All right. <laughs> new things. Excellent. I I honestly have a question too. Um, mm -hmm. I was curious, what got you to start? Platforms for artists to publish uh, and get money for their work. A lot of them exist already. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, we, you know, we are also building one. But I think this one wanted to go a little bit further and have the game element connected to it and have the AI element connected to it and the collaboration. So it was kind of to create a playground where you could put different elements beyond just publishing and selling your work. That's, That's the awesome. idea behind it. I love it. We'll put your Discord link in the description and we'll also put the link to your GitHub, if that's okay with you, to, in the yeah, description yeah, as well, where yeah. people will check out. Let me know if you need anything else and we'll send you as well. Yeah, anything you guys want on the description itself, if like, um, want people okay. to jump in and on and get involved, like, cool. feel free to send my way and we'll, and we'll be sure to put it in there for you guys. Thank you so much for having us on. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Okay. Nice to meet you both. Nice yeah. to meet you guys both. You guys have been so amazing and your the app you are creating is amazing too. And I love it. Thank you for showing it to us. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Our pleasure. This one has me really excited. <laughs> like the harvesting thing is like so mind blowing. I think it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like it's really fun. Like I, I really think the harvest is like a, a just a fun thing because if you're buying art, that's great. You know, that I've been dealing with these different apps for publishing and buying art and that's really cool but then the harvest like oh yeah i can have a lot of those and they can do things with them well we'll keep you posted on updates on the video and where we are okay. with it and all i'm right. really excited yeah. to you guys the end product all right yeah. much obliged thanks again for having yeah. us have a great rest of your day you guys you too you too thank you ciao for now ciao Artists need to be able to do things on the cheap.